What happened to the volcano in Iceland? Um, the volcano in Iceland lately, when I saw it the last time, it had been quiet for a while. Then huge, massive eruptions suddenly. It showed to me that the volcano is very volatile, rich. Volatile by volatile means things like water and uh, CO2 and other gases and steam. And uh, that changed to not the volcano being almost dormant. There's no activity. You don't see anything. Uh, just a few, sometimes a few eruptions in the morning, like this little tiny uh, spot. Similar to this, we have seen as, as if the volcano is dead. Tens of years has passed. Tens of thousands of years. This volcano from Iran, you can see that southwest Iran in Kerman province. You can see that the volcano looks very fresh, like the one in Iceland we have. Even you could see Power Hoi on the south of the world. Um, uh, part of it. It's beautiful, looks even fresher than what we have in the Iceland. So that Iceland volcano has really evolved very fast. It reminds me personally of what I've seen on the moon. There is Aristarchus Prato in the moon and that has a, a something we call head of a cobra. It's a volcano practically, a shield volcano. And it has evolved in a way and uh, it has a main vent that as you can see there's a channel leading the uh, magma and the lava toward the lower in the plane of the moon, those darker areas in the moon. It's exactly some, something like that in this volcano in Iceland. We see this beautiful shot from the from above. We can see that. Uh, sometimes when there is activity, we can see that the lava is actually flowing under the crust. It looks inactive, but the flow of the lava in this thermal image from the Landsat uh, AIDS image in NASA and USGS, you can see that. What is happening is very uh, complicated. I'll try to explain it in simple terms. Magma chambers are evolving entities. They evolve over time. So when we have a, a start with a basaltic magma, like the one that we have here, it may evolve over time. The basaltic ma ma magma has a, a lot of crystals, olivine and pyroxene and other, and plagioclase. Uh, these crystals are heavier than the normal uh, composition of the magma, so they can settle gradually. And they gather at the bottom of the magma chamber. The top of the magma chamber will be full of more liquid and uh, uh, less, uh, less uh, crystals in it. And this evolve, evolution, liquidy and more uh, volatile rich, is, is the reason for the highest and uh, volatile eruptions, like a boiling water having a lot of bubbles, these bubbles are this volatile rich material in the magma, in the top of the magma. They are crystal poor. Crystals are heavier. I told you they gather at the bottom of the magma chamber. On the top, there is no uh, much crystals. They form gradually over time. They form what we call as granite or granitoid bodies. And you can see here, you will have eruptions. Suddenly, a lot of volatiles released, and they bring a lot of... Uh, magma to the surface because this bubbling of the magma causes this. Then we have a little period of the quietness. Then this repeats again. And this volcano has evolved so fast. We are seeing this stage of the, you know, volatile reach, top of the magma, juicy magma, as we call it. Uh, like the one in Iran also, you can see that it has evolved and now it's stopped almost. And juice, juicy magma is the one we see. We actually have seen this less, less dark, less uh, black magma in Iceland. We saw gray magma. We have reports of gray magma, very light colored blue magma and stuff. And that is the evolution of the magma as we see it in real time.